Ah, det kan leve klar. Pretty, pretty. Uh, uh. Fluff, fluff. Uh, oh. I tell you I'm like a little old woman. Oh my god, these phones. Um, right, so really no introduction here. Obviously, this one is a gorgeous, awesome model. Uh, I guess let's go in. I want to know how did you how did you get scouted or start or where are you from? Do you only tell us everything? <laughs> I'm from Holland originally. Ah. And I have two old Home of the clogs. Mm, and of tulips <laughs> and many other things that we shall not mention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I have two older sisters, and one of them had been pushing me to send some pictures to an agency and at one point I just got so sick of it that I sent the pictures just to shut her up. <laughs> but then they actually hired me, so yeah, that, that's where I started. So you just post, you just sent them in? How, how old were you? I think 14. <gasps> so you sent them in, what was the agency called? Oh, it was a very small agency in Eindhoven. It's not really a mentionable a- agency, <laughs> but I got picked up by Select in London not long after that. So they sent you to London or? Yeah, they had a connection with another model that worked through Select. So thank God for that. Wow, so they were really small, really baby. Yeah, tiny, tiny little agency in Holland. Like what yeah. jobs would you Just what? like random, <laughs> random magazines and things like that. But then through the people I was working with, the bigger people and b- bigger agencies picked me up. So I moved on from that. Got it. So the next while. phase of your life would have been England? Yeah, I moved when I was 17. <gasps> I oh had a God. boyfriend here and I just packed my stuff and went over. Did you move into a model house? Um, I have stayed in model houses before, but at that time when I was you 17, I moved in with him. So can you explain to everyone what your experience of a model house? Because I always find these quite amusing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is way too many bunk beds everywhere and there is just clothes everywhere and everything is dirty bunk and beds, feels really dirty <laughs> like you don't want to touch the sheets <laughs> Every, i would always like wash everything before i would settle in yeah because it was like you don't know if it's been cleaned and who the hell had slept under there before oh my you God. how many girls did you have because it has to be mixed by the way you have to have they're not allowed to be together to boys and girls how many girls were in the model house with you um so the one that i stayed in in brooklyn um there was even a bunk bed in a closet which they had made into no. into <laughs> a bedroom oh my god don't how much was rent can you remember oh, i think it was like 500 per two weeks something like that so a grand a month for a bunk bed in a I know. Glamorous, hey? <laughs> um, and were there any, did you have any, I was going to say funny stories from the model house, but I guess terror stories are probably more. I mean, the cockroaches were always entertaining. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, that was not good. Oh, um, anyway. Yeah, let's just We'll skip gloss this. over <laughs> that stage. Um, so do you have any odd castings or anything that like sticks out in your mind for a casting? Oh, there have been so many. <laughs> Everyone, there's always the answer. <laughs> it's just been far <laughs> too many. Too, too, I can't. Too, too much pain there. <laughs> <laughs> Bring up all these repressed memories I don't want to remember. Um, well, um, the fake water throwing when you have like a face wash commercial and you're supposed to like pretend that you're refreshing Look your face. Look how gorgeous she is though. I would totally give you that job. Yeah, you just did it then and it was like a campaign. Awkward. Just terrible terrible that's always so weird and you just feel like like that i'm like it's weird isn't it is that? <laughs> yeah that it's just give awkward it give it a go at home <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a strange one or um oh i was 14 and i it was my very first casting in milan and it was for a coffee brand i think and i had to like pretend to be like praying to to marry or something i don't know but it was i was 14 and i just couldn't keep together i could i just couldn't do it (laughs) (laughs) laughing the whole i just couldn't couldn't straight face it was terrible honestly i really i thought you were gonna be like i was drinking a coffee and had to pretend drink a coffee and you're like praying they're like can you please sit on this chair backwards with your knees and pretend to pray i was like what wait what What is this did you get the job no (laughs) um and Dione does 
I mean, amazing modeling stuff, but she also does a lot of underwear modeling. Ooh. I don't know why I sound like a child here. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a really weird way to like say that. So when you go to an underwear casting, like kind of talk us through that a little bit. It's pretty straightforward and almost mm-hmm. the same as a normal casting, only you have to walk around in your underwear. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Just It's always trying to find the bra that fits is always a disaster because somehow uh. for my small rib cage, my boobs are very big. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, it's a 28 double D or I don't know what yeah. your size is. But like <laughs> <laughs> it'll be like, oh, we're looking for someone with a B cup. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, and you've done, so name some of the, uh, can you name some of the brands you've worked with? Um, recently, uh, did another campaign for a honey burdette. Mm-hmm. Yes. Who was it? I swear I said we were interviewing you and somebody was like, oh my God, I just seen her. And they, it was on Instagram or something oh, and they'd really? seen you for, yeah, I can't remember who I was talking to. I don't oh, know, probably my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> I've seen her half naked. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I know those boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. Oh, I shouldn't really <laughs> put that on. Um, anyway, um, have you done... Did I imagine you did Asia on Provocateur? No, I'm oh for, I God, used to work for them. Yeah. Can you talk through like what the shoot was and a little bit about that? It, actually, the whole team is just super strong women and very empowering, yeah. enjoying each other's curves, like being very appreciative. Oh. It's really good, actually. And who was the, what was the campaign? What was the look of it? Um, I've done a few. There was the, um, oh, it was like a backstage setup was the last one I did. Um, with like we were supposed to be like dancers somewhere and yeah that was the backstage situation they did a video of it it was pretty pretty fun actually i love their brand and who is um who is your favorite not favorite or like who is a photographer that stands out to you that you've worked with your favorite (laughs) i'm so excited to ask about this (laughs) so this is my coffee book table ellen von on on what so bad she's like my favorite and i can't pronounce her name i'm worth and you've got to work with her. Oh, t- can you just tell me everything? <laughs> Drop the mic now. Um, yeah, it's not really like work because you're just running around and there's these big sets that are built everywhere and it's locations and champagne and fun. And just it's like there was one shoot we did um, and we were completely dressed up like Marie Antoinette type oh. princesses and we just ran around this manor the whole day and it was it was crazy but it was so much fun oh my god and she shoots on does she have a big crew of people yes she does yeah big a lot of i think she is usually five assist the assistants i can speak english (laughs) (laughs) yes you can (laughs) five Um, assistants oh god so there's the digital and then people that because she shoots with different cameras she goes between film polaroid and two or three different <gasps> um, digitals, so there's always that uh, has to be set up, ready to go. Yep. Is she fun? Yes. Super kooky and fun. Yes, she has so much energy. It is unbelievable. Oh. You know what I love about that? I love how you do it on set. You know what I mean? It's no like, I don't know. They build it. I think Tim Walker the same thing. Like they're making yeah. this. It's hands on. It's creative. It's like, I love that. Um. So do you ever, when you're doing underwear modeling, mm-hmm. do you ever feel, I mean, you feel really comfortable now. Have you ever had an experience when you're like, oh. Um, not so much about the fact that I'm in my underwear because I don't really. But um, yeah, no, just sometimes, I mean, still being a model, I'm self-conscious about maybe I should lose a little bit of weight here, be a little no. bit more trim there. But overall, I don't really have a problem with it. Do you find, because you've been modeling, you know, for uh, like a a good amount of time, do you think the industry has, like, this is a kind of a strange question. When you started, did you have quite big boobs? Yes. Was it, do you think it's changed now? Yes. I remember one of my first um, jobs was an editorial in London and the stylist looked at me and just was like, I don't know what to do with you because I already had really big boobs then. And at the time, the perfect girl was like, the heroin chic oh, that was yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like still s- older age so but now it's you find the industry's a lot more yeah they're not so scared of it anymore yeah but i because my measurements are quite like small <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah um yeah i mean i guess with a lot of girls being 
quite flat chested to you that they can be quite scary and people usually think that I won't fit into the clothes because I have big boobs but fortunately but I she do. makes it she does them do. um do oh yeah okay so obviously stunning gorgeous and what is that it's gonna sound really corny beautiful inside and out uh, do you find so after instagram do you get weird dms oh yeah do you what <laughs> type of things do you get <laughs> i mean there's there's the uh, blurred out pictures that i will just never even just delete straight away um or people asking to come on holiday to certain places or to come on holiday with you or take you take me it's gonna be weird. <laughs> Can I come with you to <laughs> <laughs> on your next holiday? <laughs> I mean, that would be, that would be quite a refreshing one. I have to say that would. That would I really want to like, do that to oh. someone. Now. I'm just offering myself. I'm quite fun. <laughs> Good fun. time, generally happy. <laughs> or one of the. Yeah, we're getting really hungry. <laughs> I'm like delirious. Please see me soon. I know. <laughs> like soon. <gasps> okay. Okay. Um. Or, well, one of the ones that I was actually found quite entertaining is someone that said, will you join me in casual dating? <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was quite a, quite a good opening. You know what? Me. I mean, hats off. <laughs> like, go to the point. Yeah. <laughs> is exactly what... What did you respond? Oh, I think sometimes it's just better to leave that Leave that <laughs> and not, like... Yeah, not, like, entertain it. But that I was quite amused by that. And then there is also Carlos, who is... Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, Carlos. He's he's very special. He's um he's like an Instagram fan, and between me and my other Dutch girlfriends, he has a different account for every one of us. But he writes poems under Instagram posts. Okay. Which is, which are obviously Google translated and make no sense at all. Oh, Carlos! But shout out to it's, you. It's adorable. How long for a while? Oh, for like years. Really? Yeah. Wait, what does so his what's his handle to you? Oh, we'll, we'll have to look it up. I'm not sure. I I can show you later, but I yeah, it's hilarious. That's so fun. I want a Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody needs. I think everybody needs a Carlos. Just <laughs> Google translating. Do you know where he's from? I think he's from Peru. Oh, bless. Really? <laughs> Talking about this. Look at this ring, everybody. Oh my God, sorry, just touch your boob. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> look, I don't look even at notice this. anymore. Someone's engaged. How did, I had to say, this is just like a girly thing. How did he pop the question? Oh, we were in Barbados. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good start. And uh, he had just done a really big mural there. And I'd helped him with the painting. And then we were finished and... That seemed like the right time. Oh, model marriages. <laughs> They're going to have such genetically blessed children. If you decide to have children, they will be very genetically blessed. <laughs> so do you have any advice for uh, models starting out or anyone in the industry? Like, mm, I think it's quite important to, if you think you are not in a good situation, you probably aren't, and to be safe. Mm, that's and a really good to point. Always have your agent on speed dial, just in case. You had. I mean, sometimes you're just in a weird situation, and mm. when you're traveling on your own, it's better for someone else to know what's happening, just in case. Yeah, I think that's a good one. And lastly, the old Instagram. Mm. How is your How is your relationship with Instagram? Um, I have periods where I'm really good at it, and I post a lot. Mm -hmm. which is kind of like a job requirement mm -hmm. but then there's times where i just completely forget it exists and just n not post for forever which is equally as yeah good in a way and detoxing yeah. yeah do your agencies do you find they get on at you about it or um in the u.s more than anywhere else I really think. yeah that's interesting because you said because i mean we just said it james but like because you have to fill in your instagram how many followers do you have 40 something thousand. oh wow that's a lot yeah and they, london yeah no it's a lot well, it's also i mean i've done reality <laughs> three <laughs> times so like <laughs> you know what i mean but i have so much admiration for people that haven't done like tv like that's just yeah it's great all right Diony, thank you so much You're for sitting welcome. on the couch we will sell you out <laughs>